Now we'll take a look at simplifying fractions that contain variables. The same rule applies that a fraction is not considered simplified if it contains any common factors between the numerator and the denominator. And this applies for variables as well. So we'll start by writing out the prime factorization of both the numerator and denominator. So we'll make a factor tree for 18, then we'll make a factor tree for 30. Well, two times nine is 18, two is prime, and three times three is equal to nine, and these are prime. So for 30, we'll have three times 10, three is prime. For 10, we'll have two times five, and these are both prime. So now we'll rewrite the fraction. For 18x, we'll write two times three times three times x. And then for 30x, we'll have two times three times five times x. So it's exactly the same as simplifying other fractions, except now we have variable factors as well. And now we can identify all of the common factors between the numerator and denominator. Notice there's a factor of two, that would simplify to one. There's also a common factor of three, that would simplify to one, as well as x. x over x would also equal one. The remaining factors give us our simplified fraction. Notice here we have three-fifths. Let's take a look at another one. Notice we have a lot more variable factors, but the process will be exactly the same. So let's find the prime factorization for 54. And you may be able to skip this step if you know your multiplication tables really well, and you can identify the greatest common factor of 54 and 63 by inspection. But I'm going to assume we need to show the work. So 54 would be nine times six. Neither of these are prime. Nine is three times three and six is two times three. These are all prime. 63 would be seven times nine, seven is prime, and nine would be three times three, which are both prime. Now for 54a cubed b squared, I'll write two times three times three times three. These factors came from the factor tree. Then we have three factors of a, and two factors of b. And then for the denominator of 63a to the fifth b, we'll have three times three times seven for 63. Then we'll have five factors of a and one factor of b. And now we can easily identify all the common factors between the numerator and denominator. Three over three simplifies to one, three over three simplifies to one. Notice there are three factors of a in common. This all simplifies to one and we have one factor of b in common. So whatever's left is our simplified fraction. So in the numerator we have two times three times b, that's six b. And the denominator is seven times a times a, or seven a squared. Notice when these fractions do contain variables, they may look more complicated, but the process is exactly the same, except now we also have variable factors.